What's up, YouTube? Guys, it's Brendan from Market Makers, your home for Fibonacci pattern trading and Wyckoff TA. Guys, I noticed something amazing and I want to share it with you in this video. We're going to drill down into Wyckoff and the daily time frame so I can show you this previous accumulation cycle because a lot of people are asking and I tried to reply to every single comment a lot of people are asking what's the next steps gonna look like what's the pattern going to be if this truly is accumulation what can we expect instead of just drawing it with arrows I'm gonna show you because Bitcoin's already done it okay and patterns repeat themselves part of pattern trading guys real quick I want to take a second and share with you a members post in our discord this morning at five in the morning because this is really really heartfelt and I really appreciate this and I'll tell you why this is so special so he said so far so good thanks market makers Brendan Ricardo Marbob six and Lee beyond words how much I'm I am appreciating what I have listened to watched and learned your sharing of your knowledge the education and market update videos live streams TA screenshots etc have been an absolute game changer for our family thank you 800% return the reason I'm showing you this is because this is not our trade this is his trade what we do we do something different yes we give trade signals yes myself Marbob six for professional traders we are both retired we trade full-time we started this room to really educate people who want to change their life and pursue financial freedom none of us have to do this we all can do our own thing but we've made so many good friends and getting comments like this in our discord is why we do this guys so we do something a little bit different if you want to come check out the room there is no risk no obligation the link is in the video description you can try us out for a week if you're not happy you get a full refund okay so I think you guys should check it out I really think you would love it we're doing something different in this space and we have a great community an international community with over 30 countries in our room so that's that guys I never really share things from our room I've done this a handful of times but I just thought that was a really special one because I'm really proud of him what he did it takes a lot of hard work and patience and commitment to make yyself a good trader jumping back into Wyckoff guys this is what we're gonna focus on this candle right here in this whole cycle of accumulation and reaccumulation walking us to where we are and then I'm gonna show you this amazing pattern that I noticed while I was doing this preparing for this video okay let's go ahead and look at this so one thing I want to mention to you guys you guys saw a couple videos ago I pulled this fib this fib for March 2020 and if you haven't go watch the accumulation and distribution video I've recorded both of those this week they're labeled accumulation distribution it'll help you with the precepts of what you need to understand for Wyckoff okay but we're gonna walk through this pulling that trend based fib from the March 2020 COVID crash to the previous all-time high down to the market low guys look how accurate this is the 618 yes you spiked above it with the Wyckoff up thrust that's the purpose of the up thrust but within extremely reasonable here you got the ceiling okay look at the 0.5 fib you literally have the retracement level that you fell to you see this look at the tops of the candles this is why the Phi tool set okay Phi PHI it's the Greek letter that's used for the golden ratio okay so they called the Phi tool set this is why the Phi tool set is so amazing and accurate this fib is pulled from data almost two years old and then look at your 382 where your current ceiling is on a trend based fib from March 2020 I just find this stuff amazing I'm kind of a tech geek so I think this stuff's really fascinating but let's go ahead and walk through this remember that candle I showed you here's your previous all-time high we're gonna start right here where we begin to dump okay this is the Wyckoff this is the last test of supply okay remember you have your sell-off here your sign of weakness now you have your last test of supply retail is trying to hold it here and you begin to dump you fall to where you enter accumulation phase your preliminary test of support you can see that backed up by these candles right here you you fail here and then you get your dump candles as you can see to your selling climax candle VSA volume spread analysis Tom Williams based on the Wyckoff method hard rejection wick as you guys know you get your automatic reaction rally establishes your ceiling you get your secondary test of where you are for your base this establishes your trading range that you are in and this again is the end of phase one in accumulation okay 
Phase two is your second is the higher volatility, volume spread increases, and you get your secondary test of your ceiling. By the way, guys, these STAR, you can label these however you want. I have a buddy that trades with Wyckoff. He just uses one, two, three, four, five, six. He has a numbered system with like a legend. It doesn't matter what you want to call these. Again, it's the elements that are important. It doesn't matter the phases necessarily. Understand these elements repeat themselves over and over again, okay? We establish a secondary test of our ceiling. And then, guys, the Wyckoff down thrust right here, as you can see, you have the Wyckoff down thrust, and then we get a preliminary show of strength, and it rolls over. Okay, remember, I told you this is where everybody thought the market was done at this point, right? The market's done. We rolled over. This could just be a bounce. And what do you get? You get the Wyckoff spring. And then you get your bear trap down here, okay? Because it looked like price was rolling over. Let me try to pull this up. It looked like price was rolling over. And you get some hallmark elements here at play, okay? There's your bear trap. You get your sign of strength. And you get your last your last uh, point of support. Sorry, your last point of support right here. As you can see, you're starting to exit the trading range. Looks like price is rolling over again. Again, this is why it's so important to understand Wyckoff because you can understand what price is doing because this has been proven over and over and over again, guys. So you get your last point of support here. Also, it's worth noting right here at the same time that you're getting your last point of support, what is the 55 and 233 doing? you're getting a bullish cross. You see this? You're getting a bullish cross. Again, it's confluence. So you get a sign of strength, a show of strength, price boost back up. This is where you get your reaccumulation phase, guys. Your reaccumulation phase of where you're at, right? And this in the price, this is also called a backup. Price settles down at a higher low. You see that? There's your previous lower low. Here's your higher low. You move up with a sign of strength preliminary tests of supply when they start dumping some supply in the market to get a feel the smart money starts dumping some supply to get a feel for what retail and demand is going to be and guys when we pull this back over let's go ahead and pull this over you get your buying climax candle and of course immediately engulfed once again you can see the cycles repeat themselves immediately engulfed your reactionary rally the form your base this is your ceiling and then you get your secondary test of your ceiling you get a nice trio of Wyckoff up thrust stopping everybody out who is shorting at the 618 including myself so this is your bull trap okay your up thrust bull trap you get a sign of weakness price comes all the way down and again your last test of supply also happens to be married right here to your preliminary test of support. Again, the patterns aren't always going to be super clean. You don't have a whole nother set of candles here for your preliminary test of support, but this is where you then get your dump candle, your selling climax, reactionary rally to form your ceiling. Again, your secondary test of the base, your secondary test of the ceiling, and then you have where we're at right now, your secondary test. There can be multiple secondary tests of your base or ceiling, guys. Secondary test and the down thrust, right? The Wyckoff down thrust. That's where we are in Wyckoff. Something I want you guys to understand because this is really cool. Let me show you something here. Let me show you what's going on here that I noticed, okay? I got to squish this in. I'm sorry. It's daily candles, guys. This is why I was showing you on the weekly before because I know people want to see things zoomed out, but this is important to see. So put this on your TV if you have to so you can see this a little bit better. Let me try to fill the computer monitor with it so you get the biggest picture possible here. Something I want you guys to notice because I found this really amazing. So let's look at our just patterns, right? Just look at your pattern. Let's start right here at the dump candle. Okay, you see the dump candle? The selling climax candle. Your selling climax candle, again, right here, okay? Look at the pattern of price. Look at the pattern. You have your automatic reaction establishing your ceiling and then your dip, right? Automatic reaction establishing your ceiling and your dip. You obviously have the same steps. Your secondary test, your secondary test. Your secondary test of the ceiling, secondary test of the ceiling. Are you noticing a pattern here? Look at this declination after the secondary test of your ceiling for people that don't think the Wyckoff method is still applicable. Then you get your down thrust. And again, this is specific to the Bitcoin cycle right now. Secondary test of your ceiling, 
you get your down thrust. You want to see something else that's pretty damn amazing? I mean, I found this to be really amazing. So look at this. So you guys know I do five summation series to track potential pivots and price on the weekly. It's been completely accurate. I showed you that again yesterday. I'll show you here again in a second. So our down thrust from our dump candle, our selling climax candle, go one candle before it, right? One candle before it, because that's a zero candle, go to the down thrust candle. Thirty-five bars. Now let's go to. Oh, I'm sorry. The candle before it, which is the pivot candle. That's the bar that we're looking for. The ah, come on. The pivot candle is the bar before. Man, the lag's bad. Thirty-four bars. Okay, Fibonacci number, right? Thirty-four bars. Now, if we go do the same thing, selling climax candle. So we got to go to the candle before it, the zero candle. Go to our down thrust. Candle before the down thrust is 33 bars. Do they match? No. They are one day apart from the selling climax candle to the down thrust candle. Selling climax candle to the down thrust candle. And you can see, as in Wyckoff, repeating the exact same steps in accumulation. Now, here's the interesting thing that I noticed, okay? And I think you guys might, some of you might already know this already, or just by looking at this. When you look at it on the daily, it's much more obvious what's going on here, right? So if we look at this, we have our down thrust right here, right? So we do have upward movement. You see this? We got upward movement. We come up and we roll over. Our spring, in this case with Bitcoin, because remember, every market doesn't react the same way. Every asset doesn't react the same way. Right now, we're looking at Wyckoff on specifically Bitcoin, the most volatile asset in the world, four times more volatile than gold. Our spring, our spring bear trap came off this rollover, okay? So we didn't come down as far as the down thrust, but we did come down rollover in this fashion. Imagine if you were in longs here, right? You got to think Max Payne. That was what Wyckoff was doing. He was giving you the schematic overlay of how the smart money, the financial institutions manipulate retail. So you got to think Max Payne. So your people would be exiting positions here, exiting long, seeing the price rollover, and then look at your Wyckoff spring, your bear trap, and then the sign of strength with all the up candles going up. Now, this is what's interesting because if this is true, if Bitcoin does the exact same pattern again, one day apart, 33 days, 34 days, then that means we are going to have an upward movement and it's probably going to roll over. And then once again, everybody's going to freak out. See, I told you, market makers doesn't know anything. Other people don't know anything. Bitcoin's rolling over and it's done. And then you got the spring and then it exploded up. Okay. This pattern could very easily repeat itself. And guys, one thing also to note, I showed you the Phi summation series again on the weekly. Okay. The Phi summation series, this is weekly time frame. What is the Phi summation series? We got so many hundreds of new subs now. Phi summation is Fibonacci numbers overlaid on top of each other, both going to a candle the same candle, you have sequences within each other, you want at least two sequences, okay? And you, you get them both overlaying, showing you the next bar will be your pivot bar. And here's your pivot bar, that three bar dump, okay? We did the same thing with eight and five here. And here's our pivot bar, just as predicted in a few videos ago. You guys can go watch it if you want. And you got your dump. But on the daily time frame, we have two Phi series overlaying. I told you today would be a pivot point potentially in price. And I told you, what, what's a pivot, guys? A pivot is a trend reversal. This is a blue candle. This is a buying candle. Keep in mind, this is the daily time frame. This doesn't mean Bitcoin's going to the moon here. It means it's a trend reversal. You are in selling candles for multiple days in a row here. You have a buying candle right now. It could be the beginning of a new trend. Don't expect everything to happen in the same day. But both these five series ended yesterday. And today, blue candle. Coincidence? Could be, guys. Who knows? But this is how I trade, and this is exactly how it's been working out when you can find these overlaying FI series. Do they always work? No, of course not. Nothing's perfect, or I would have my secretary and my butler doing this TA for me, and uh, you guys would never have met me. So <laughs> nothing's perfect, but this has been a really fantastic system and tool set to really trade with, okay? So it's just something looking at. But so this right now is where we're going to 
really focus on what this candle could be because if we do roll over here guys if we pump up which is what we could exactly do just like this we could pump up and we're going to come back up like mid-range maybe so this pump you know where i think this pump would come and then start to roll over because wouldn't this make perfect sense i don't really prep for these videos that much i'm just talking aloud wouldn't this make perfect sense you hit your 233 and you start to get rejected right so it looks something like this you hit your 233 you start to get rejected maybe you pop through it oh yep bitcoin's done guys it's totally done wyckoff spring boom this is exactly what happened over here for those of you that were in the market you might not have been thinking of it in wyckoff terms but you probably remember this exact feeling and experience wyckoff down thrust start to move up bitcoin clearly rolling over losing support white cough spring big bear trap boom you're off to the races okay so this is really fascinating i hope you guys watch bitcoin i think you'll really really appreciate this type of ta today because i don't think anybody's talking about this in this type of fashion so it's really really fascinating to people like me and again where are we at this pivot who knows? Could we start our new trend? This could be multiple days, guys. These are daily candles. So we want to watch, just as a fair warning, as always, we want to watch we don't get this death cross, okay? We don't want to get the death cross. If we get the death cross, that's bad. Again, how many days apart is that? I can't tell you. It depends how long we stay down here. I want to start seeing some upward momentum. Start to get up here, and then maybe we start rolling over. And if this does happen in this fashion, guys, and we find that Wyckoff Spring, how absolutely amazing would that be for everybody that was clued into that ahead of time. Really excited about that. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Probably went a little bit long. Uh, if you have questions about the white cough method, if you have questions about any of the five tools in general, go ahead and just pop them in the video comments. Please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Send this out to your friends and stuff. Follow us on Twitter. We are in there. I'm also opening a getter. Because, you know, a lot of you may be Joe Rogan fans, but he's on Getter now, too. So we're jumping on Getter, too, for our platform. So, all right, guys. Talk soon. Happy trading.